comes the Undisputed Era. The following contest is a Tag Team Championship first round match. And at a combined weight of 397 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champion, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. The multifaceted mixed martial arts backgrounds of both Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish make them a threat to each and every tag team in WWE. These are the two men who have been a tag team since 2012, and yet have maintained the same attitude of doing what most people don't expect. Silencing critics, marching to the beat of their own drummer, and succeeding every step of the way. Yeah, the Ray Dragon's really transforming things here in WWE. Incredible opportunity tonight. comes sports entertainment royalty, Brett Hitman Hart. The man was literally born into this industry, which I think is a lot of the reason why he's managed to be so successful. Everyone's ready. Just like that, this tag team match is underway. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive, and these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. We are watching the master of the sharpshooter in the ring right now. Yeah, any opponents better bring their A game or a pair of crutches. Well, look, Bobby Fish is in position. Uh-oh. Is he done? Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Beautiful technique. Harsh impact. Consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. I know it's early, but if things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Harsh impending predicament. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Not going to keep Kyle down this early. Axe handle finds its target. He's starting to feel it here, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. This might be it. Oh, my. 
Look at Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Big flying forearm. Big flying forearm. Nobody controls the pace oh. of a match quite like this guy. Well, look. Go flying fish hook. You have to like his chances here. It'll be hard for... He got the shoulders down. No trouble getting out of that one. Tried for it early. We know what's coming here. You gotta believe this one's over. That creates a big opening here. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and oh, make man. the tag. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very man. big mistake. Mark my words. Devastating kick. Nailed it. And the instinct from Fish on display. So quick. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. The Anvil not looking good right now. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. The abuse his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like he enjoys the pain. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural tag team champions. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a... Neidhart! Got it locked in at Cobra Crush! Is he gonna tap? This could be it, guys. That might be the end of Fish tonight. Would you say he's filleted? Bang and screw! That'll tear your knee up. Over the last few years... Uh-oh! Here we go! He looks to be losing a bit of leverage. Good job getting to the ropes there. Yeah, that could have been bad. And Jim the Anvil Neidhart says, not this time! The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positive... Wow, I thought he was a goner. He's making a statement here with this attack. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. He has the ability to turn it on in a heartbeat. Oh, here it comes! Oh, incredible height. But he's got to capitalize now. Kyle O'Reilly's chances just went from bad to worse. He's got him covered. The pin's broken up. Picked up. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Counter here. Caught. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning 
of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Oh boy, he is rolling. One, two, kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. Not sure how, but the anvil has the strength to power out here and get back into this thing. Setting it up. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. And he's looking at it. Is he done? Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? Oh, what impact. Going for the big one. Boom! Man <laughs> was going to be feeling that one for a while. He's got him down. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. A quick reversal by Jim, the Anvil Nighthawk. on the way. Whipped across the ring. He's setting him up. Blues line. Devastating move by the end. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. A win like that says a lot about a duo. Let's look back on the action from the last match. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. Fall with here tonight.